evil eye about the nazar. Now evil eye is true. It can happen. And people can get evil eye. But what a lot of people don't know is that evil eye does not have to be given by someone who's evil. Evil eye does not have to be given by someone who is evil. The nazar or the ayn, in Arabic they call it al ayn. Nazar you have in different languages and, and, and uh, evil eyes in English. That can be given to you by someone who loves you. It could be your grandmother. It could be your, your, your mother. It could be your father. It could be your brother. It could be your sister. It could be your son. Daughter. It could be anyone who's very close to you. I remember, I remember my child. Subhanallah, my child was the, obviously my first child in my family. What used to happen is every time he used to go to one of his grandparents' houses, he used to come back and he used to have a problem with his speech. And so this is a real fact I'm telling you. This is going back now about 15 years. About 14, 13, 14 years. It's going back. One of my child, my, my children, my eldest child, whenever he used to go to one of his grandparents' houses, he used to come back and he used to speak with a slight stutter. And I straight away recognized that it's the evil eye. And it's not, it's not given because the grandparents are evil. No, 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 no. The grandparents love their grandchildren so much that they give the evil eye. A lot of people don't know this. What you're supposed to say every time you see someone you love, say, Masha Allah. Do you guys understand? Every time you see someone you love, you see either say, Barakallahu Feek, Barakallahu Feek, say it. Or you say, Masha Allah. So you, I want you guys to go home, look at your wives. Your wives say, Masha Allah, Masha, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Oh, Masha Allah. Masha Allah. She's going to say to you, what's wrong with you? Say, the Imam said, if we see someone very beautiful, we're supposed to say, Masha Allah. It'll make her happy as well. Unless she says to you, what's the title of the talk that you went to? And you say, the devil within. <laughs> Masha Allah, Masha Allah. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm being very, very honest with you. If you love someone and you think they're beautiful, or you think they're very intelligent, or they've got something really good, or they've achieved some nice results in exams, or whatever, they say, MashaAllah, Shadda, MashaAllah. And, and if there's someone in the gathering that doesn't say, just remind them, say, say, everyone say, say, MashaAllah, straight away. There will be no evil eye. But what, do I, what did I do with my child? Now, this is something which I have experienced, which I found in some books. It's not in hadith. Okay, but the ayats from the Quran, but it's the actual method is not in the hadith. So if you ask me for the, for the method from the hadith, I won't be able to give you one. Many ulama have experienced this and they found that it's very useful. The last two ayats of Surah Qalam, the last two ayats of Surah Qalam, you recite that 41 times. وَإِنْ يَكَادُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَيُزْلِقُونَكَ بِأَبْصَارِهِمْ لَمَّا سَمِعُوا الذِّكْرَ وَيَقُولُونَ إِنَّهُ لَمَجْنُونَ وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ Okay, you recite that 41 times, you blow on the person or blow onto some water, give it to them to drink, inshallah there will be nothing. And inshallah, you know, subhanallah, I saw that every time I gave it to my child, he stopped stuttering. Until the next time he went to that grand, grand uh, you know, parent's uh, house. And they came back and same thing, and me and my wife both said, it is the evil eye. But it's not because they're evil, it's because you know, they love him so much. So then I would recite again, right? until he grew up to a certain age, maybe six or seven, and then after that it stopped happening.